What's up everybody? Welcome to Apex Crypto and DeFinance. Today we're going to go over some crypto candlestick chart patterns, both bearish and bullish. So here on the bullish side, we have a bull flag. What's a bull flag? A bull flag is something that has a flagpole, which is a lot of buy pressure. Then it has a decrease, uh, dissension in price. All right, your trend lines, you go from high to usually the highs, which is whatever bounces off the trend line the most. The same thing with the lows. Um, you can mess with them a little bit and change them however you want to. It doesn't matter. You Sometimes patterns, uh, chart, uh, patterns form inside of chart patterns all the time. And if uh, trend, trend line gets broke, another pattern could form outside of the pattern you currently have marked. So that's always something to keep in mind. Or you have a fallen wedge here. You have your big buy pressure. And then you have a decrease in price, steady decrease in price. And you see this cup and handle form inside of your of your falling wedge. So a cup and handle is kind of like a market reversal, which is basically what a falling wedge is as well. This is a perfect example. Cup and handle came down here, rounded out the bottom, and then you've seen it broke the trend line and it just skyrocketed. And then it formed this uh, bull flag right here as well. And price just continued to go up. Formed this W right here. Price continued to go up. You can see where this uh, this M formed right here. This head and shoulders also formed. Um, you, have your, you have your right side of your M. The previous high was not broke. And down here, the previous low was broke. So that's, that's an M which is a market reversal and it got it was inside of the bull flag so you had some buy pressure here broke the trend line and went up some bullish ascending triangle you had some buy pressure here and you had some sell pressure and it just it just kept going up in a triangle broke the trend line here and kept going up some bearish continuation patterns. Bearish continuation patterns. You have the rising wedge right here, which could also be a bear flag since it broke out a trend line right here. That's another example. They do the same thing. You have a whole lot of sell pressure. It's just going to consolidate a little bit. Whether if it's going up, touching the trend line more or not, that's where your patterns come in. Okay, and then you have it bro breaks the trend line right here and it continues falling and continues falling into a descending triangle. A descending triangle is something that has a clear bottom and the price is descending. It has lower uh, highs each time. You can see it broke the trend line right here. Probably touched a support or had a bunch of buy pressure and shot back up into this uh, bullish ascending triangle. Bearish double top. It has two confirmed top points right here. Actually three. This could be a bearish triple top. Which, they're both the same thing. It's just, you see all this consolidation in this area right here. And then you see the sell pressure fall off after the tops were formed. Alright guys, I'm going to be dropping some more videos here pretty soon. I've been pretty busy and pretty tired. Just hang with me. I'm going to get up, get the ball rolling for everybody and try to start uploading two videos or so a day. Uh, like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. We have a bunch more content coming up. Um, Banking with Billy Discord link is in the description of this video. Uh, Penny Lifestyles Discord uh, link description is in this video. They are Crypto Futures um, Discord. They are my home Discord where I learned basically everything I know about crypto in. The great guys. If you're more into stocks and just passive income, definance, spot traded in crypto, Join Banking with Billy. Everything's lit there 24-7. Got some great analysts in there. Billy himself drops videos daily for everybody on stocks. I'd go check it out if I was you. Um, but thanks, everybody, for watching. And until next time.